record was set in 2016, a 132.44. Okay. So I expect about 130 k's, 132 k's an hour average lap speed of these guys. We got, what did we get for Formula One? We got an average lap, spec record, uh, lap speed of 144.402 kilometres an hour and a new outright chap lap record, 127.235, 127.235, outstanding. Tarbon Walker back out there after a problem with his bike and he, uh, he pulled out of the first race, so he'll be looking for points. Zach Fuller there. Look at that strong one from Toby Summers. Toby Summers takes a uh, good line into turn one. Can he get it? Oh, yes, he's got the lead. Toby Summers on the Man Love Media bike, but he gets swallowed up back in the second. Oh, Sabaji Baji there. I think Rogan Chana run into the back of him. Uh, Toby slowed a little bit, and that's Avalon Biddle in fourth place with Zach Fuller in fifth place. This one's going to be interesting. We've got Finch back in there. Unfortunately, he tucked the front that first one down into turn one, but he's out and running, and it's going to be interesting to watch him and Rogan Chandler against each other one-on-one. -on -one. Yeah, the Scott Structural team. Hope his wife Ali's watching. If not, she'll catch up uh, on uh, live timing later on with the uh, replays and that, but I'm sure she's watching live. And uh, the team from Scott Structural, uh, unfortunately, we've got uh, Ashton Hughes out of action. He had a high side at uh, Rapuna testing about six weeks ago and badly broke his uh, elbow, so he's out probably for the super Superbike season as well. So uh, a depleted Scott Structural team, but Dale Finch, mate, he's got the goods. Came from a Speedway background, and he was racing the Envy Augusta that Alex Phyllis rode for the uh, Team Hallicraft and had some good results on that and then jumped on the Triumph, and, man, he's a, he's a class act. A lot of these guys and girls are class acts out there. So can Toby Summers come back? He poked his nose in the front. This is the first time he, he had his nose in the front. He was leading a race at Wanganui, but he hasn't had too many front positions in the recent in the last couple of years on the Carl Cox Motorsport uh, sponsor machine. So I don't want to put the commentator's curse on him. Dale Finch being hunted down by Rogan Chandler, the young boy from uh, the Blue Crew Yamaha team from uh, Lower Hut, or Upper Hut, I think he is. Yeah, that's going to be fireworks all the way through. It's a seven lap, uh, eight lap race. So we've done seven laps. Sorry, we've done one lap and we've got seven to go. I should learn to count before I get here. Keep your eyes peeled on this one. We have a 6.75 triumph out the front with Finch. Unfortunately, he didn't make it to the finish line in the first one, but Rogan Chandler's already having a little look at him. These two are the class act of this this one. We have Toby Summers sitting in third, but that one's going to tighten up. I believe Avalon Biddle's coming after him. Zach Fuller is coming as well. And don't forget, we have Tarvin Walker on that beautiful little pink uh, ZX6 there, just behind them. This one's going to get tight. Those front two look like they're a little bit faster. I think if they're given clear track, they can run away. So the boys need to get in control of Toby Summers, get onto the back of him and try and not let those front two run away. So just 20 thousandths of separ se second, uh, separating first and uh, second place in the uh, Ipony Oils Formula 2 class here as they disappear out of sight. We look over to the CTAS live screen and Rogan Chandler backs it in up on that top corner. He runs it a little bit wide and Dale Finch pounces back there. So uh, great to see Tarvin Walker on the 21 machine. I know his mum Cairo is watching online and from Australia. He's now got the support of Kawasaki New Zealand. So two bikes ding dong it out for the lead two bikes for third and fourth place so change of position there is that going to be an overshoot i don't think so so rogan chandler's back in the front and dale finch is back to second place number 22 the carl cox sport mad love media sponsored uh, rider of uh, toby summers there in third spot and in fourth place we've got avalon biddle fifth is uh, zach fuller six is 21 and that is tarvin walker great racing straight there singing down the back straight, did him on brakes, Finchie down into the little flip-flop there, and uh, Rogan is looking like he is the man to beat. This is the uh, good little warm-up, the Suzuki series for the New Zealand uh, NZSBK, which is coming up, and these two are my picks for the front two. It's, uh, we've lost Ashton, like you touched on before, unfortunately, with that broken arm, um, so best, best wishes to him for a speedy recovery. We are missing you, mate, but uh, it is going to be a little dust-up behind him there's we've got three four bikes there uh, so the front two are going to clear out front we've got finch and chandler out front already doing a 30.9 there rogan chandler so showing his class he's got to be dominant that's what we've said to him this year he needs to step up and take over from richie dibbon who's gone on to the 1000 super exciting rider but this is his chance to to shine really and come come through and take out the super sport uh title 
Indeed, and they do at the Robin Holt Memorial at Wanganui. They've now got a separate trophy for second uh, for the first of the uh, smaller bikes home. So that's a coveted trophy. The Robin Holt Memorial has been run since he passed away in 1996, and uh, it will it is the most coveted trophy in New Zealand outside the New Zealand Superbike Championship. So Avalon Biddle's broken away from Toby Summers, and now Toby Summers is under threat uh, from fifth, fourth place. He's been threatened uh, by Zach Fuller on the Honda. So what have we got out the front? We've got a... Uh, We've got a Yamaha, and then we go to a Triumph, and then two Kawasaki's, and then we've got the Honda and another Kawasaki. Where is Dylan Telford? Is he up behind that lot? In fact, there he is, I think, in about six or seven place on the number 20 machine. Indeed, that's a beautiful 675 uh, number uh, 20 machine. Interesting, 675cc's, the Triumphs and the MV Augustas are three-cylinder bikes, and the 600s are the four-cylinder bikes. So that's, we call it Super Sport 600, and that's the difference. Toby Summers pulls away from Zach Fuller as they go into turn seven here at the Bruce McLaren Motorsport Park for the first round of the Suzuki International Series. Don't forget Manfield Network next weekend, and you can buy your tickets already. The early bird tickets are a little bit cheaper for the uh, 26th uh, of December day. Uh, Boxing Day at the Cemetery Circuit for the 70th running of the meeting. Looking up to the top of the circuit where no one can see. And still it is Chandler in command. He's got about eight bike lengths. The battle is on now. And Tarbin Walker goes up on, I think, no, Zach Fuller. Zach Fuller, the red bike, looked like a pink lock. He went up on the inside of Toby Summers. So you can see them now down this long straight there. The red bike is in front. Can he hold that on as we see the lead bikes come into that flip-flop there? Dale Finch still hounding Rogan Chandler in the Ipony Oils Formula 2 class. 30.8 and 30.8 there, both of them doing identical lap times, so those two, you touched on it before, they can't shake each other, so it might just be a little bit of a case of follow the leader there, but Avi has broken away, Zach's done the move down off the back shoot, and he's got past Toby. Uh, Target Walker is going to fall back into the hands there of uh, Dylan Telford, that's going to be a good little dust up. Remember, we had the Super Sport B class for the lower speed bikes for two seasons ago in the New Zealand Superbike Championships. And these two to a ding dong it out, Dylan Telford and Tarbin Walker. Great to see him. Well prepared machines. Had a problem in the first race, but he's got a spare bike. I think he had a brake problem, so he pulled out. But uh, great to see Tarbin. And uh, he's got his own image there with the brighter pink than last year and black. And uh, the lead bikes come out of turn seven here at Taupo, Bruce McLaren Motorsport Park. Looks like Rogan Chandler's opened up uh, a little bit more throttle and getting away from Dale Finch. What's the quickest lap time? 139, 139, 44. 139, 15, 139, 44 for um, the first two bikes, Chandler and Dale Finch. Yeah, the rest of them into the 31s. You are right there. It looked like he pulled like a 10 metre bike lead there. So Finch may have had a little bit of a problem, but uh, Rogan needs to sort of. Uh, keep the hammer down and keep Finch in check. But uh, these two reminded me a lot of the Shane Richardson, Damon Rees battles that they had down here. Yeah, 138 kilometres an hour, the average uh, speed. So only six k's an hour slower than the uh, Superbike average lap speed. So look at this, Dale Finch is coming back on strong. Oh, Zach Fuller goes down there. He goes off into the grass and his bike's almost at the edge of the track. He's all right. He stood up there. That's the important thing. The yellow flag's straight out there. That's a... Uh, that's a handy, good, well done for the flag marshal watching there. You've got to watch away from the corner rather than when coming into there. So Fuller now picking his bike up. So that's a bit disappointing, but uh, back onto the track action. And it is Rogan Chandler, 130.750 and 130.765. So just 15 thousandths of a second separating these two bikes. There's probably a 0.1 of a second gap there. It won't be long, I think, before Dale Finch just gets on the back there. As I say that, Chandler just opens up on the Blue Crew Yamaha, our Lazo-sponsored machine. Chandler looking absolutely spectacular. I watched him yesterday down into turn one. He hops off the side of the bike, which gives the bike a lot of clearance, and same down into turn seven. And the Yamaha seems to roll around the corner mid corner speed very nice. Finch uh, doing a great job. He's a South Island. He hasn't done much time there, and uh, he's been down the king of... Rupuna doing a little bit of riding, but uh, Rogan knows what to do. He went down the South Island. He's uh, sharpening his tool and he's getting ready for NZSBK, which is coming up. Oh yeah, meanwhile, don't 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 forget this is a strong series. In fact, some classes are a lot stronger than the New Zealand Superbike Championship, so it's almost on an equal level. And uh, some outstanding riding, a new outright lap record today for uh, Damon Rees there as well. His bikes are tightening up there. Remember, last lap it was 15,000 of a second. Yeah, indeed. Uh, the 17 machine, the Scott Structural Machine, is closing up there on the lead bike. So uh, waiting for the lap times to come through as they go into turn one. 
What have we got there? I'm going to pick that uh, that the uh, Dale Finch machine is actually quicker. In fact, he got a 134.63, a 135.74 for uh, Rogan Chandler. So he's now the fastest man on the track. And getting close to the lap record, a 132.44, but I don't think it's going to be broken today. We're running out of laps, two laps to go. Everyone's sitting there, lonely little right there in third position. Same with Toby, he's in fourth position. Then we go back, oh, we've had a change there. Unfortunately, Tarbin's fallen back behind Dylan Telford there for uh, fifth and sixth. As you say that, he tucks up there in turn four and uh, takes that position back. So that's uh, two, four, fifth and sixth. So Tarvin Walker lost that position and just dominantly, or well, he's pretty dominant coming out of that uh, turn five here at Taupo. But Dylan Telford doesn't give up. He's uh, he's the man that went to uh, Italy and uh, amazed people over there when he rode the Aprilia's over there. So. Uh, Aprilia Tech, uh, not Aprilia, sorry, MV Augusta, MV Augusta. Did you ride Aprilia? Yeah, you rode Aprilia overseas, yes, sorry. Talking Swahili here, <laughs> talking shorthand. He's on that naked bike doing the uh, Italian Championship Series and uh, did himself very proud over there. Yeah, just touching on base, I've been helping out with Tarvin Walker this season and uh, the commitment of the young boys, he uh, stood out to me as well. Um, he puts in the hard yards, does, prepped his own bike, drives a lot of kilometres, and he's had some uh, very good fortune winning the Hamilton and uh, Auckland Club Championships. There we go, see the white flag coming out, last lap. It's going to be do or die time. Keep your eyes peeled at the front, number 17 versus number 15. We have Chandler on. Uh, shout out to Jaden Scott, the sponsor of Dale Finch. Uh, he'll be watching this, I'm sure, and... Uh, to have Ashton Hughes, although he's injured at the track, so he'll be helping with setup, and he knows how to run these six, seven, five triumphs and uh, one bike with them uh, as they come out of turn five. But uh, Rogan Chandler gets out of that corner a little bit quicker. Do you think it's just him, or do you think it's the Yamaha stronger, Jared Love? I think the Yamaha is looking very good. I touched on the floor. It seems to roll around the turn seven and turn one very good. Uh, I don't know if it's his body position or what, but I saw it at uh, Porsche Dipper at uh, Hampton Downs. He started doing it last year when he was so dominant and got that lap record up there, and he's continuing it on and uh, bringing it to this Tiapo track. A big effort for the uh, Avalon Biddle team. They, they run a motor in, I think, yesterday and put a new... Uh, they went down to Palmerston and picked up a spare motor, so the King Dobson supported bike. Oz, Chris Osborne, Aussie Racing, is uh, well involved in it. Here's the lead two bikes. We're on the final lap of the Ipony Oils Formula 2 class. They're going to come across a lapper in that flip-flop. That's going to happen. And as uh, they close up side by side. Oh, look at that. The Scott Structural Bike goes on the inside there. Here comes Rogan Chandler coming back. Now that lapper, one each side. This is incredible racing. They both got bought by the lapper. And it is number 17. Wow. That was... Uh, that was incredible there, the number 17 machine, and uh, that is Dale Finch there. That was a bit of excitement there. We've had a lot of excitement on that corner. There's third place, Avalon Biddle goes across there. We're looking out for fourth and fifth, and Dylan, uh, sorry, Toby Summers is fourth, fifth and sixth. Uh, Dylan Telford has got ahead of Tarbin Walker and uh, takes, uh, what is it, sixth place, I think. Jacob Stroud out there at the tail end of the field. He's managed to get out there with a uh, damaged shoulder. So battles still coming down. There's a couple of massive battles coming along that long straight there, Jared Love. He's got a full pack coming into here. Uh, we'll see the Kawasaki looks like it's down front. Then we have a white one there. This will be Robbie. Robbie Stokes, I think, is on the white bike. 68 holds his hand up. He gets it there, so that's uh, number 68 is indeed Luke Riley. So uh, it was, that battle was Luke Riley, Robbie Stokes, Jacob Pierce. That's a good ride for Jacob Pierce, number 56 from uh, Christchurch. Hamus Fox goes through in 10th, Henry Goff, and then I think it was, should be Jeff Crook here. Jeff Crook goes through on the number 99 machine. Action of plenty in that one. Oh, yeah. Uh, Rogan, it's one apiece, really, but uh, poor old Dale Finch had the little slip off in the first one, so uh, Rogan won't be happy at that one. Avalon comes through, gets second. Good ride for Toby Summers. He got out of the gate and ran, which he's going to be real good. He third for Avalon. Third for, yep, third for Avalon. Yep, fourth for Toby Summers. Dylan Telford picks up fifth from Tarvin Walker. Luke Riley gets seventh. Robbie Stokes in eighth position. Jacob Pierce, great ride. Good to see him on the 600. He picks up ninth. And Hamish Fox is our top ten. Mm, indeed. So all this will be on the line in a couple of days. Oh yeah, so the gap, 0.197 of a second, the fireworks were on 
in the uh, coming across the lap. I really, I was, I was standing there just about biting my fingernails. I know I shouldn't be, but uh, it was quite tight with that lapper. But neither of them got uh, the advantage there. It ran all the way to the line with Dale Finch winning it. So winning it. So Jaden Scott, I hope you enjoyed that one. And uh, Dale's wife Ellie, uh, we had high teas together down at uh, Greymouth after the uh, after the ride, uh, prize giving. So. I was four hours into my high tees. We had a bit of entertainment, so uh, g'day, Ali. How are you? I pony oils, 100% motorcycle oils. They've got two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen photos of their pro products, including chain oil and various oils, two-stroke oil, brake fluid, and all that sort of thing, and probably some sort of uh, cleaning uh, products as well. So I pony oils. Thank you for that. Right, here's a chance to do our uh, F2 podium and uh, awesome stuff, Av. Uh, not the weekend you wanted to have when it started, but uh, to end on the podium, pretty positive? Yeah, I'm super happy. I guess if I had one goal for this weekend, it was to finish both races on the podium. So uh, just scraped by there. I was pretty knackered at the end of the race, I'm not going to lie. So I was relieved to see a bit of a gap on my pit board. Um, so yeah, massive thanks to um, everyone helping me this weekend, Ken, Aussie, Mum, and of course my sponsors, MTF Finance, Kawasaki, Carl Cox Motorsport and everyone else. Um, it's been an awesome start to the season, so let's hope we can keep it up. Yeah, I mean, these guys are a few tenths off lap record pace. Uh, I mean, that's going to be pretty hot to try and catch up. You got a bit up your sleeve for Manfield, do you think? Uh, not at the moment, but I'll, 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 I'll dig deeper for next weekend, that's for sure. Um, yeah, I, I mean, I'm saying I'm happy, but I was watching these guys have an epic battle for the lead off in front of me, and I saw them catch the back marker, so I was watching it like the guys on the stands were. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, great race by them, great riding all weekend. Uh, also to Zach and Toby, um, it's been a lot of fun. Awesome, well done, Ev. Come on, podiums, and a uh, good start to the Suzuki International Series. We go to Rogan, and uh, Rogan, oh, that's going to hurt pretty bad. Um, pretty positive, though, you come in here with a series points win, so uh, it's all pretty positive. sort of track in Manfield next weekend. Is it shaping up pretty good? You got this uh, series where you want it? Yeah, I'm feeling really, I didn't, I honestly didn't expect to be leading out of here, honestly, um, with the race, not, race bike not being ready and running one that's a bit down on power, but you know, these bikes are so great, just out the box, so I can't fold it. And uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy to be, have the points yet again and keep it on to Manfield. Awesome, well done, Rogan. A couple of uh, podium uh, stints today and he takes the uh, series lead, but uh, Dale, after that, uh, Miraculous save in turn one. That's got to feel pretty good to end uh, with a win on the weekend. Oh yeah, after race one, um, it feels good to just go out there and finish on top. Um, I, could follow, I was following Rogan the whole race, and I seen that his tire was going off, so I knew if I got the drive out of the back sweeper, I'd, I'd have it. Um, he tried to have a go back at me, and then there was a back marker in the way. It played in my favour. That's racing. Um, I like to thank everyone back in Christchurch that's been following me. Um, Mum and Ali have been watching on CTAS. Um, Jaden, B Ray, uh, all, all the boys on the usual suspects. Thanks a lot. Awesome, man. So, yeah, you must be happy with the Scott Trucksell Triumph heading into the summer? Yeah, I, I'm real happy with my pace on it. Um, I feel, felt like I could just ride behind Rogan then and watch him. Um, yeah, it's a pretty good feeling coming into um, Nationals starting next year. Awesome, well done. That's uh, Dale Finch taking a race win here. That's our uh, F2 podium wrapped up. We'll cross now to the uh, boys who've got some jigsaw action at the Suzuki International Series for 2020.